All right, it is the 23rd of April. Uh, it's Roanoke, Virginia is where we're at right now. And the frost date, the la which is the last frost, um, that's supposed to happen and then you're be supposed to be able to um, confidently plant after that. It's supposed to be April 11th. Um, inevitably, every year it kind of gets close to this, and this year they've um, issued a freezer frost warning. So I have already planted a lot of stuff, and I really don't want to lose anything or, or replant. Fortunately for me, the way that I have planted the majority of uh, my crops has been uh, with a covering. Uh, wood chips. So some of the stuff that I planted has not come up yet and so that stuff since it's under those plants since they're since they're under like five inches of wood chips there should be plenty of heat underneath the wood chips to not have to worry about the frost um, for that stuff. Now I do have some green beans that have come up and some radishes and things like that for those this is what you need to do anything that's above ground that you have right now um, if you have tomatoes or anything like that I am so sorry for you right now um, that happened to me one year and I lost a lot of stuff even with covering it um, so I'm just going to show you a few things that you can try to do to save the plants that you have that have already come up so um, right here I've got uh, some plastic drop cloth. Um, you can get this at like Walmart or wherever. I think it was like maybe $3 and it is 200 square foot. It's clear. Uh, you do not have to have anything that's clear. Um, you know, ideally you would be putting this on and it would be clear just to let some light in. It's the whole greenhouse effect idea. Um, it's going to allow the light in and then um, the things under that plastic will um, retain the heat and the moisture and everything that's in that area because the plastic is catching it, stopping it from evaporating out. Um, so this is one thing you can use. This is fairly cheap and um, you can get a lot of it. Uh, the other thing, I, I always keep some recyclables around. Uh, these are great if you have something a little bit larger, like if you happen to put that tomato in the ground already. Um, you can go ahead and rinse your bottles out. I like to save a lot of larger like juice bottles and things because then your larger plants can fit in there pretty well. This, that, what you would do is you would just cut this piece off here at the top and then you would literally like if your plant was right here let's say you would literally just put this over and sort of dig it into the ground so that it stays and that it, it will act like a greenhouse um, if it's really windy you may want to put a rock or something on the top but other than that it usually works um, so save your milk jugs milk jugs are really good too um, plastic bottle, things like that. The other thing that you can do, um, and it really depends on the area, that, the area that you're in, if it's super windy or not, but um, I've gotten straw before. Um, the pine straw, it's thinner, it's not like regular straw. Um, but you could do it with regular straw too. I just like the thinner needles, the pine needles, because um, you can really sort of fluff it up around your plants. And um, if you wanted to do that in conjunction with a little bit of plastic wrap or something like that, that would do well also. But the idea is to just cover them in something that's going to um, keep the heat and the moisture around those plants. Um, another thing that you also want to think about is if you've planted in an area and it's really, really dry, um, what that means is there's poor space in the soil. 
just like we have pores in our skin, there's pore space in the soil. The soil is either filled with um, all air, all water, or a mixture in between. Usually it's a mixture in between. But if your soil is really, really dry, that means that there is very little water in that pore space. Um, since air can get a lot colder than um, the water, which freezes at a certain temperature, um, you'd rather have your soil have water in it than all air because that will actually um, keep it at a, it'll stop it from getting colder than water would freeze at the temperature. So if you don't have water in your soil, go ahead and water it. And you'd want to put these, um, take these measures during the afternoon when it's the warmest. So if you haven't done it already, do it now. Um, and say a little prayer for your plants. I always do that um, because I put so much work and energy into them and um, they're all my babies and I don't want to see anything happen to them. Um, so, you know, when you go by the frost date, and unfortunately it doesn't work out that way, um, these are a few things that you can do. And I hope you guys can save all your plants and I will um, keep posting videos for you. Thanks.